Hey everybody, my name is Tasha and welcome to Candy Little Yams. This is my 21st week pregnancy update. And even though I'm no longer 21 weeks, I still have updates to share with you. Um, at 21 weeks, six days I went to my OB appointment and let's just start there I'm very frustrated with my OB because like I told you all, I am on Medicaid and this is not uncommon with insurance companies are unmedicaid people period but it is a practice with five doctors and multiple nurse practitioners I don't know but the point is I've I go to the OB appointments, I've never seen an OB, which wouldn't bother me going to see the nurse practitioner, but I don't even see the same nurse practitioner every time. And when I envisioned my pregnancy, I thought that I would get a midwife and we would have this great relationship and build it over time and then she would deliver my baby and it would be lovely, but no. I feel like no one knows my case, no one knows who I am, and when I deliver, the doctor isn't going to know who I am or anything, and it's just going to be this. I think it will be safe. I think I'm safe. That is one thing. I think I'm healthy and safe, but there will be no physician-patient-doctor relationship. It will just be completely medical. And birth is not this science thing. It's spiritual, and as a spiritual woo woo person I just need more connection so I'm gonna try to keep seeing the same person at least when I go from four weeks to weeks to two weeks and stuff like that so maybe when I start going more often they'll try to give me some type of regularity but it's just annoying and not ideal for my personality or my lifestyle being all you know woo woo and in touch with my soul and stuff um, so on that note I went a week before that I went to the WIC office because like Medicaid I am on WIC as well and they wanted to do a weight check and I am under my pre-pregnancy weight um, which the doctor didn't care about or the nurse practitioner didn't care about when I went to go see her the last time before this one but the WIC people were really concerned and she was like, you need to start eating more. You need to eat six meals a day versus three meals a day. But I think I'm healthy. The baby is measuring on time as far as the ultrasound went. And um, I feel much better than I did in the beginning of my pregnancy when I lost all the weight to begin with. But I work a standing up busy job. I don't get to sit down. And I get to eat three square meals a day, but I don't get to like snack on crackers and stuff like that during the day so she was like you need to eat more so I did start eating more but I wasn't eating the right things I'll just say lots of sugar was consumed <laughs> in between the wig visit and my OB appointment so when I got my OB appointment I had gained two pounds which wasn't a problem for me like I said I probably should be gaining weight anyway but when I saw the nurse practitioner she measured my uterus or my fundus or whatever they measure on the outside where they poke around for your pelvis bone and your no-no region which I wasn't expecting and they dig in your stomach to find the top of your uterus or your fundus when they measure that um I was measuring 25 weeks and I was 21 weeks six days and I believe plus or minus two weeks is normal so she measured a couple times and she asked me when was your last period you know are you sure you're 21 weeks and she checked my chart and she was like yeah you're right you are 21 weeks but and I told her that I had been eating more because of the week appointment and she just told me it's not a real concern but just go back to eating the way that I was eating before so everybody's conflicting and like I said I don't feel like I know anybody I don't feel like they know me so I'm just gonna ignore everybody <laughs> I'm gonna keep going to the doctor and I'm gonna do what they tell me to do but as long as I feel good I'm just gonna eat the way that I was eating before and feel great so I am measuring ahead hopefully not for too long and hopefully not that far ahead forever so they won't be changing my due date and craziness um but I was made in 25 weeks when I was 21 weeks, 6 days, which was exciting, but nerve-wracking, and, you know, it wasn't a big deal, but it was news, so I decided to share it with you. Um, like I said, I'm going to go back to eating the way I was before with slightly more structure, so in the next video, I will be telling you about my pregnancy meal plan that I've come up with. Um, and I'm not going on a diet or anything, but I'm not concerned about my weight either, because... 
like I said, I was, I never said this, but I was overweight before I got pregnant and I am still overweight for my height. So I think I have a little bit of extra fat to spare. So it'll all be okay in the end. <laughs> so that's it for this pregnancy update and I will be back like in a couple days. Bye.